the voice of disgruntled customers, funny quotes and true. Douglas Rain, the actor as King Henry IV at the Stratford Festival in 1979. Photograph, Stratford Festival via AP Douglas Rain, who performed for 32 seasons with the Stratford Shakespeare Festival in Canada, but was perhaps most famous for one faceless film role, the voice of the HAL 9000 computer in Stanley Kubrick's 2001, A Space Odyssey, died on Sunday in St. Mary's, Ontario. He was 90. Stratford Festival announced his death. Douglas shared many of the same qualities as Kubrick's iconic creation, Antoni Simolino, the festival's artistic director, said. Precision, strength of steel, enigma and infinite intelligence, as well as a wicked sense of humor. But those of us lucky enough to have worked with Douglas soon solved his riddle and discovered that at the center of his mystery, lay warmth and humanity. What turned out to be, in a sense, Rain's career-making job came along in 1960, when he narrated a Canadian documentary about astronomy in space called Universe. It caught Kubrick's attention. He is said to have watched it scores of times. And when he was having trouble finding a voice that he liked HAL 9000, the onboard computer on a spaceship carrying astronauts on a mysterious mission, he thought of the documentary's narration. Kubrick had already shot 2001, and various concepts for the voice of HAL had been tried. At one point the computer was envisioned as female. The actor Martin Balsam recorded HAL's lines, but was deemed not quite right. During filming the British actor Nigel Davenport read the lines off-camera for a time for the benefit of Care Dullia and Gary Lockwood, who played the astronauts, and then Kubrick had an assistant director, also British, do it. Kubrick, not satisfied with any of those, sought out Rain. They met at a recording studio outside London. Rain recorded his lines in a day and a half, with Kubrick, who died in 1999, explaining the scenes to him and giving him only the sparsest of directorial notes. Rain's rendition of the lines, I'm sorry, Dave, I'm afraid I can't do that, was dispassionate in a way that was both soothing and unsettling. His readings were cool to the point of being chilling, especially as the story moved along and Hal became malevolent. Jerry Flahiv, a former documentary producer for the National Film Board of Canada who interviewed Rain in 2014 and who has written several articles about how the Hal voice has influenced the sound of our artificial intelligence in the age of Siri, said Rain was not starry-eyed about his involvement with 2001. Rain loved to immerse himself in the development of the roles he played, so the quick recording session with Stanley Kubrick, which gave him no context for the character of Hal and no collaboration with other actors, along with the director's seemingly flip decision to cast him at almost the last minute, left him unimpressed with the whole experience, Flahuv said by email. He said to me in 2014, if you could have been a ghost at the recording you would have thought it was a load of rubbish. Despite its notoriety and his famous connection to it, Ray never saw. Douglas James Rain was born on May 9, 1928, in Winnipeg, Manitoba. His father, James, was a railroad switchman, and his mother, Mary Crichton McIntyre, was a nurse. He studied at the University of Manitoba, from which he received a bachelor's degree in 1950 and the Banff Centre for the Arts. He also spent a year at the Old Vic School in London before returning to Canada to join the fledgling Stratford Festival. Within a few years he was playing major roles there, including Iago in Othello in 1959, the title role in King John in 1960 and Edgar in King Lear in 1964. Rain, whose marriages to Lois Shaw and Martha Henry ended in divorce, and is survived by two sons, David and Adam, a daughter, Emma Rain, and a granddaughter, appeared several times on Broadway. His performance in Vivid, Vivid Regina, in 1972 earned him a Tony Award nomination as Best Featured Actor in a Play.